Hi, today we're going to take a look at how to subtract mixed numbers with like denominators. This is a special case where the fraction of the second mixed number is greater than the fraction of the first mixed number. Before getting into it, we need to remember that a mixed number, like this one, is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Also, a proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is less than the denominator, the bottom number. One fourth is a proper fraction, given that the numerator one is less than the denominator four. Nice! Now we are ready for the example. In this example, we need to subtract six and one fourth minus two and three fourths. As you can see, these two mixed numbers have the same denominator. Usually, to find the difference, we start by subtracting the whole numbers, and the whole numbers are six and two in this problem. So we put six minus two, and six minus two give us four. We can also put four in the answer. We have the difference of the whole numbers. It's time to subtract the fractions. The fractions are one fourth and three fourths. Come over here, one fourth minus three fourths. These two fractions have the same denominator, four on the left, four on the right, four on this side, and we continue by subtracting the numerators. One minus three, one minus three, hold on. We cannot subtract three from one because three is larger than one. The problem in this case is that the second fraction is greater than the first fraction. That is correct. The fractional part of the second mixed number is greater than the fractional part of the first mixed number. In cases like this, we need to follow a different procedure. I repeat, in cases like this, where the fractional part of the second mixed number is greater than the fractional part of the first mixed number, we're going to follow a different procedure. To find the difference, we're going to convert these two mixed numbers to improper fractions. Do you remember how to do that? Let's start with 6 and 1 fourth. To convert this mixed number to an improper fraction, first we multiply the denominator by the whole number, and then we add this result to the numerator. Here we go. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 1 gives us 25. Once again, 4 times 6 is 24, plus 1 gives us 25, and then we keep the denominator the same. 4 come over here. At this point, we should remember the improper fractions. An improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is greater than or equal to the denominator, the bottom number. 25 fourths is an improper fraction, given that the numerator 25 is greater than the denominator 4. Nice! Then we have the minus sign, and we're going to convert the second mixed number to an improper fraction. Once again, we'll start by multiplying the denominator by the whole number, and then we add this result to the numerator. Here we go. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 gives us 11. 11, once again. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 gives us 11, and then the denominator stays the same. 4 come over here. Now we need to subtract these two fractions with like denominators. 4 on the left, 4 on the right, 4 on this side, and we continue by subtracting the numerators. We have 25 minus 11. We're going to solve the subtraction on this side. 25 minus 11. We have 5 minus 1 gives us 4, and 2 minus 1 is 1. The answer is 14. 14. Hold on! 14 fourths is a fraction that we can simplify. So we're going to simplify this fraction dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same number, by 2. 14 divided by 2 gives us 7. 4 divided by 2 gives us 2. We have 7 halves. 7 halves is a fraction in its simplest form, and we cannot simplify it anymore. However, 7 halves is an improper fraction and we don't want the answer as an improper fraction, we need the answer as a mixed number. So finally, we're going to convert this improper fraction to a mixed number. Ready? Pay attention to the following question. How many times does 2 go into 7? How many times does 2 go into 7? Well, 2 goes into 7 3 times. And then we multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. To get 7, we need to add 1. Once again, 3 times 2 is 6. To get 7, we need to add 1, and then we keep the denominator the same. 2, shh, come over here. The final answer is 3 and 1 half. We can put the answer over here. 3 and 1 half. 1 half. In that way, 6 and 1 fourth minus 2 and 3 fourths give us 3 and 1 half. That is the final answer. That's all for today. If you want to learn more about mixed numbers, check out this playlist. And here you have another video. 
have a good one and see you next lesson. Bye!